Hello, namaste, it's Leanne Peters here. Uh, because this is an artist video, I can say that it's Leanne Peters from leannepeters.com, Leanne Peters Artist on Facebook, and Leanne Peters underscore ceramics on Instagram. Welcome to, to my Temple of Balance viewers. So this is some art talk, I guess. Um, I don't know what it's going to be about at this point, but I do want to, every second uh, Friday, I want to bring out a, a, um, an art-inspired video. So this is my art-inspired video. I'm camping at present. So what has been really standing out for me as I thought about, okay, what do I want to talk about in this video today? And it is the... <sighs> I mean, I guess it's it's so normal for me, but you know, seeing the world through the eyes of an artist. As an artist, I am always looking for inspiration, and it's not something I'm searching and seeking for. It's something that I'm I'm always on the lookout for. Um, I'm always open to. You know, I'm looking in I'm looking for colours and shades and shadows and highlights in anything I see, from the small things. To the, to the large things. I'm looking at how things make me feel. I personally love with my art, I love observing people's emotions and people's conversations and people's expressions. I love seeing those, um, you know, those really vulnerable moments that we all have as humans when we're talking about something that we feel a bit vulnerable about or we find courage to step out of our comfort zone um, or we step yeah, step outside the box. So I love observing human emotions and interactions and just how people respond to things. So I'm always on the lookout for something to inspire me and I don't have to look far. I see beauty in pretty much everything. Um, there's not much I don't find beauty in. Even the, the insects, I wouldn't particularly like a spider crawling over me, for example. And I wouldn't like to see a big one walking right past here or a snake for example but I really love those animals to connect with them um, in, in through my art in a way where I can connect with them without dealing with the you know the physical rejection of them if you like so I'm always finding things that I can potentially translate into a drawing or a painting or some ceramics a sculpture or something Another thing that really inspires me, I find, is my dream state and my meditation state and space. So when I'm relaxing and I'm in a meditation, for example, and I'm visualizing myself, I love to visualize myself sitting on the bank of a hill, looking out over the most beautiful view you could imagine. And I'm sitting there with some paper and I'm drawing the view and there's a big tree right next to me. And I take myself to that sort of meditation, visualization, quite often and as I'm doing that um, when I take myself there things evolve from that like once many years ago when I was in that space and that focus of imagining myself on um, the, this bank looking out over the view uh, drawing it it's like the sky turned into a ceiling and these golden energy hands came down from the ceiling from above from the sky and scooped me up and lifted me up into this other world and you may know that as my self-love drawing, uh, my self-love card number seven in my healing energy card. So that inspired that drawing. There's been a few um, meditation experiences that have actually inspired a lot of the drawings that I do or even the sculptures that I make. I'm a, quite a visual person, um, especially when it comes to dreaming and it's not uncommon for people that are artistic and creative. Um, so there's quite often too that I will wake up from a dream with a certain feeling or a certain fear or a certain visual that I've actually had during that dream that I will then translate as best as I can into a drawing or a painting or a sculpture. So when, I mean I don't know what it's like not to be artistic, I've been artistic and creative all my life so I don't know if everyone sees the world in this way and is um, looking for inspiration or not looking for it but allowing inspiration to come that can potentially inspire the next drawing the next painting the next sculpture and then I work with my art diary especially if it's ceramics 
um, to scribble down and sketch out my um, my ideas because I guess it's a lot of ideas that have been sparked by what I see and what I experience in this world. Um, so they are a very much a personal thing, aren't they? The artwork that's been expressed, no matter what the artwork is, it's very much about that internal landscape and bringing or finding a voice or a way to express and share that um, as best as we can as artists. So are you artistic? And if you are artistic or creative, or you have creative leanings, <laughs> um, what inspires you? What do you find um, inspiring? I guess there are also things that I find more inspiring than other things. So nature is definitely a big part of it, but especially trees. I love trees. I love the shape of trees. I love the texture of trees. I love the way they bend. I love the way they're always, unless they've been cut at by man, but they're always finding balance, whether it's asymmetrical balance or asymmetrical balance. Trees are quite inspiring to me. I absolutely adore trees and I imagine the, how far the tree roots stretch into the earth. Um, I imagine all the things living in this tree that it houses. It's a, it's a, you know, it's, it really is a, a landscape, I guess, of its own, housing so many little critters and creatures and birds and it really is a shelter for many. So if you're artistic, what are your inspirations? If you're not that artistic or creative, if you wouldn't uh, deem yourself as a creative person, I wonder what inspires you or how you see nature. How do you see trees? How do you see people talking or people conversing or people um, expressing in that, those vulnerable moments? Do you notice those things? I'd, I'd really love to know your thoughts, whether you're creative or not. And um, yeah, I think it all helps us better understand ourselves, doesn't it? Potentially. So thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website at leannepeters.com. So thank you and I'll see you again soon for some art video, probably in two weeks time. But you can also look back through my other videos and find some art ones. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. It's Temple of Balance on YouTube. Thanks everyone. Have a fantastic day. I'm so grateful that um, you're here connecting with me and that I'm able to be here. So thank you so much and I will chat with you soon.